Medical files, how private are they really? In my life and your life, our visits to a physician's office are some of the most humbling moments in time. Usually we are going in for an annual checkup or some other issue of illness or just a common sickness or cold. In our lives though, practices are becoming scarce. They are merging with huge medical institutions, which are putting our medical files on major technological systems, making them accessible from many points of a hospital system. Do we really want this to happen with our records? Many of us think it's a good idea to have our files available should there be an emergency situation like a car accident or something else. But in practicality, we also have to look at the private aspects of our lives in terms of intimate relationships that we might be telling our doctor about or other notes that a doctor or physician or a nurse practitioner might put on our medical records. Do we really want every single item that we talk about privately with one physician to be known by every single person across our entire care system or life? Because medical issues change, shift, New information and technology brings to us new medical ways of fixing illness and other disease or simply minor issues that come about through the human condition of being in a world with many things that happen to us in the world today. My life and your life is really about practicality. We go when we need to, not when we don't. And do we really want every single nurse and every single receptionist to have access to the little aspects of our life in terms of how things are coded for insurance or other issues that might be super private to us? Maybe not to them because they're used to seeing all kinds of things in their world and industry, but to us, it's private. How can we handle this situation now? We really need to look at how we're losing some of the smaller practices in the community. We really need to open ourselves to the fact that sometimes bigger is not better. And we openly need to recognize that when we request our records from someone, they actually get access to every little note that a physician states on our record. We also have to wonder about the physicians who make comments who have absolutely no skill or degree or pedigree or experience in our particular situation. Do they really have a right to make comment when they are not an expert in the field in which we are looking for help from? Those are some interesting queries that I have been pondering in my life from some experiences that have left me under considerable stress, and maybe they would do the same thing for you. What do you think about the medical situation we are all facing today, where conglomerates are buying out other hospitals, where systems are taking over, where computer technology are making our records accessible to anyone with a technological background or medical records people or the people that they show our records to, such as a receptionist who prints us off our final reports? You see, in life, our private body is really our own. But medical institutions are sort of making it like it's not really our own at all. Have you ever thought about this from this perspective? Or are you openly okay with every single person across an office in a hospital being able to look at your physical aspects and know your situation and conditions? These are just interesting questions I'm pondering right now in my life. But how would it be if it was happening in your life is really the one thing that I'd like to hear about. How do you feel about this new way of life that we are getting to in Indiana?